it's been a little while since I've had a chance to put a video up on YouTube. I've actually been working on my boat for the past month or two. What started out as just a weekend project turned into a couple month long project. And uh, I'll show you what I've done here. So some of you guys have probably seen the video I've done on this little boat before. So I went to pull the carpet up out of the boat. Something I've been wanting to do for years. And when I did and I seen how bad shape the floor was in, I just went ahead and gutted the whole boat and kind of started over. I'm using the same trolling motor that I was before. I did end up having to build a new mount for it just to make it set flush. If you haven't seen my other video, it's a Motor Guide XI3. But the only front deck that it had from the factory was from that seam right there up, if you can see that. So I extended the deck just to make it safer throwing a net. And then everything under the deck now is storage. And so I got a lot more storage than I had. And I've also got a whole lot more room in the bottom of the boat. And that's what I was kind of going for. I coated everything in tough coat. It's a non-skid coating. I wish that I would have we got a little darker color, but I, this was light gray. I thought it would be a little darker than this, but you know, I don't hate it or anything. It is what it is. So you can see this boat originally had a bench right here. You can see part of it still in there because I didn't want to. I didn't want to mess with the rivets below the water line because none of them leak right now. So under the floor, I've got one inch styrofoam. That that adds flotation if you ever take on any water, and it also gives the floor something to rest on if you put something heavy in here just walking around. That way you can get by with half inch plywood and not have any flex when you walk on it. All this back here is still storage. I went ahead and put the non-skid on this too because I stand on this a lot fighting fish and casting and stuff. I ended up completely redoing the transom. I pulled the old one out. It wasn't real, real bad yet, but it was on its way. So I went ahead and redone it. Got it soaked in oil base paint and everything too. I added a, a little mini jacker on here just because the motor had always set a little too low. I also didn't have many options on my transducer because it was so close to the motor. So moving the motor back four inches seemed to help quite a bit. I did have to end up adding a, a plate down inside there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the first time I took it out just to test it and I put it in reverse. It just dumped water in the back of the boat every time you put it in reverse. So I had to put a little plate in there just to block the water flow in reverse. And I don't have any problems now. So I added a bilge pump. That's something else that I've always wanted in case I ever take a wave or anything. You know, it is a small boat. So now I've got an 800 gallon per hour bilge pump. So I've had a lot of people ask me about this rod rack and the blue light across the back of it. It's just a little rod rack that I made. It's like a uh, one and a half inch angle. Just braced up. I got another piece of angle running along the gunnel here. Two bolts in it. It's solid as a rock. I mean, you can't move it. And it, it doesn't weigh anything. The rod holders weigh more than the rack does. And then as far as the blue light that y'all asked me about on the back, it's just a 50 inch blue LED light strip. I think I got it at Cabela's for around 30 bucks. But it's just got adhesive on the back of it and you just glue it on. And so far so good. It's been on there probably a year and a half or so and none of them have burned out yet. So seems like a pretty good one. Like I said, I think it's around 30 bucks. I got all my wiring ran inside this little console that I built here. And that's, everybody keeps thinking that's a speaker, but it's actually just a little access hatch. So here's what I got going on as far as my switches. I ordered this top one off Amazon. And it was pre-wired, but the way it was wired, I didn't really, for what I was doing, it wouldn't really work. So I pulled all the wires off of it that came on it and just kind of made it work for me. So here's my power on. Well, this voltage meter right here stayed on all the time and I didn't feel like it was necessary to have it on all the time. So I put it on a switch, a push button switch down here. You just hold it in for about three seconds and it'll show your voltage. And then there's my kill switch. There's the bilge pump, my spotlight on the front. These two are blank. They're not hooked up to anything yet, but I'm sure I'll use them for something on down the road. There's my balance stern light. And then there's my 
blue light across the rod rack. Uh, USB charging ports, and then there's a 12 volt outlet that I use to run my live wells. Bait tank, whatever. I had a couple cup holders up here. And then as far as this hatch goes, it just screws off. And then I've got my fuse box and bus bars and stuff mounted in there. Wiring's not the cleanest yet, but I might straighten that up a little more. It's all all ten copper wires and everything's shrink wrap. I mean, I've done it all right. It's just not real pretty inside that box, but I'm not too worried about it. So if you haven't seen the other video, here's my little homemade bait tray. It's just a cutting board from Walmart cut down I cut two inch strips off of it turn them up 90 degrees turned out pretty good uh, I've got it on a rod holder base just the extended it's an old Driftmaster extendable base or whatever I just used it and ran, ran the threaded end through it double nutted it so all my wirings ran through this conduit right here I've got room for more if I ever need it that's three quarter inch PVC. So that's pretty much all I can think of right now, guys. If you got any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments and I'll be sure to get back with you. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I'll be back putting videos out about every week now. Now that I got my boat ready to go, we're actually getting ready to head out in the morning. Got a few things to do tonight and we'll be ready to go. Hopefully that works out good and you might see some of that on video. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you.